Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Government this week launched the Electrical Vehicle Industry Roadmap. Natalie Grieve joins me to discuss some of the highlights. Hi Natalie. Hi. Can you briefly outline what the roadmap entails? Sure. The Electric Vehicle Industry Roadmap was launched by the Minister of uh, Trade and Industry, Dr. Rob Davies, and it is also a collaboration with the Department of Environmental Affairs. Now, what it essentially intends on doing is creating an industry for the electric vehicle in South Africa, both for uh, in terms of promoting the manufacturing side and also creating a demand from the consumer. Um, essentially, what it's going to do in that sense is make sure that one day we have electric vehicles on our roads and that there is infrastructure to support it. The most uh, fundamental strategic intervention in terms of the manufacturing side is that they are looking to promote uh, investment into manufacturing of electric vehicles locally in South Africa. There is currently um, a program called the Automotive Production and Development Program. And under this program, um, automotive manufacturers in South Africa are liable for a 20% return on any investment that they make into new plants or machinery if they produce over 50,000 units of, obviously, vehicles. Now, when it comes to the amendments proposed by the Action Plan, or the Roadmap, um, they are proposing that uh, any electric vehicle manufacturer of only over 5,000 units is going to be liable for a 35% return on investment. Um, now, further supportive uh, interventions that are proposed by the, the roadmap include providing support from parastatal research organizations as well as independent research organizations such as the Industrial Development Corporation, the Center for the Scientific and Industrial Research, as well as ESCOM. Um, the roadmap will also look at establishing a legislative framework that's going to determine uh, the safe manufacture of these electric vehicles, as well as ensuring that they'll be safely operated on South Africa's roads. Are there any incentives proposed for consumers? Yes, there are. Um, I think the most important of these are tax benefits. Um, proposals under the roadmap include uh, personal income tax rebates, um, also a reduction in uh, registration fees for electric vehicles, and also a reduced value added tax on the selling price of electric vehicles. The, the roadmap also proposes uh, that there will be uh, public education campaigns that will hopefully uh, increase the appetite um, of consumers for electric vehicles. Um, the, the roadmap also proposes um, that in June it's, it's going to be open for public comments. Um, this will obviously allow potential consumers to, to give their input. Um, this will then be followed by the creation of a steering committee, which will constitute both government and private sector uh, representation. They will then review these comments by the, the, uh, the public and private sector uh, and develop a number of proposals, which will then be submitted to Cabinet in September for approval. The Department of Environmental Affairs also earlier this year launched another electric vehicle related program. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, um, this was launched by the Department of Environmental Affairs, as you said, in February. Um, it's an electric vehicle pilot program, which essentially looks to pilot a fleet of electric vehicles um, and look at their viability under South African conditions. This was a public-private partnership. Um, the private partners was Nissan South Africa. They donated four uh, Nissan Leaf electric vehicles as well as the charging infrastructure required. Um, and the fundamental motivation behind this was, um, the DEA explained, was um, to transition South Africa to a sustainable green economy as outlined in the National Development Plan. And um, this is also aligned with the objectives of the electric vehicle industry roadmap. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.